What's up guys, welcome back to our channel, it's Zee and Abs as Abs Project and we are back onto this TR Supra Mark IV and today we are going to show you how to do the timing on your engine. Tools that you need are, got a uh, wrench with extension, got 21mm, got 16mm for the uh, spark plugs and I believe this is an M5 to take the top cover off. And you need a 30mm spanner to take the distributor off. So the first thing you're going to do is remove this air filter. You've got 10mm uh, here, 10mm over here. Go ahead and remove them. Plug over here. So air filter, go ahead and remove that. You've got this pipe, remove that. You've got this pipe over here, remove this. Acceleration cable, take that out. And then that is another 10mm. Loosen that up and you can then remove your air filter. Just like that. Next thing you're going to do is remove the top cover. So we'll take the engine cap, engine oil cap off and remove the cover so we can get to the first spark plug. Next thing you want to do is take the distributor cap off. It's held by three 8mm bolts, one over here, one over here and one I believe underneath. So get your 8mm, loosen all this. Just remember, when you're undoing these bolts, you don't need to take them off all the way, just up to here, so it stays inside here, inside the cap. Okay, now we've loosened it up, but I'm not gonna take this off. I'm gonna leave the cap on as it is. Once I've done the timing, then I'll remove this. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take this first spark plug ignition lead. Okay, just remove that out of the way, and then go ahead and remove the first spark plug. Okay, then what you're going to do, you're going to get a big extension like this and you're going to pop it into the first uh, cylinder. Okay. So this extension was too thick. This is a perfect size, but it's too small. So I've got uh, an Allen key which is quite long. So I'm going to put this in the first cylinder. And the reason why we're putting this in is because when I rotate the crankshaft, we want the first cylinder to be in position one. And the way you're going to see if it's position one is when this goes high up and everything lines up then that's your position one and everything is timed accordingly you want to get your 22 mil with a ratchet and we are gonna turn our main crank until this goes all the way up so the first piston is high up and everything is aligned in terms of timing wise the crank and then we'll remove the distributor and make sure this is timed as well and i'll show you how to do that as you keep turning it see that the first piston is coming up okay so as you can see now the piston is going down the reason why we're going to keep turning it because this is not aligned yet so you're going to keep turning until that comes up and this lines up as well as the crank pulley down there so we'll keep an eye on it i'm going to line these up first and then we do the wrist so as you can see these are lining up now so hopefully when this lines up, that should be coming up at the same time. There you go. Okay, so that's gonna line up. And about there. So now these are lined up. That, that is at the highest position. Now we're just gonna check if the crank is lined up as well. Yep, as you can see, it's coming to lining up. So that's still not lined at the bottom. That should be on zero. So if I bring it back a bit. About there. Can you see it? Yep. Just yeah, about right. right. Got it. So now we know everything's timed from the front. Pistons on the first, so everything is timed at its first point. Now we're gonna take the distributor off to see if that is timed at the first point as well. So it's firing correct. So first thing we're gonna do is remove the plug. Then we're gonna remove the distributor cap. Move that aside. And now you need 12 fill spanner just to undo that and then take the distributor off. Okay, now this is a good point where before you take the distributor, get a highlighter or get some marker and just mark the points from the top to the bottom. So when you go ahead and put it back, you know that is your marking point of it being back. So as you can see, can you see? Yeah. Okay, now what you want to do is get your 12 minute spanner and remove the distributor. So you have an issue with this ball, it's already been damaged up. But, um, so we have to tap in a bit with the 12mm 
and then use the hammer to just tap the spider to just spin it a bit so you can loosen it. So as I was saying, this is the state of that ball. It is spinning and look at that. So we had to um, give it a little persuasion just to take it off. Now that's, that's off. We are now gonna take the distributor off. There you go. So try to keep it straight. All right. So now where we are gonna align this. So see this groove over here, and then you see the teeth, or if you turn that around, see that's got a groove as well. So you want this one, aligned with this groove over here so as you can see the distribute was slightly out of timing comparisons to how it should have been all lined up so now what we're going to do is if you keep an eye on that i'm going to turn it rotate it clockwise just to line up with this so um, turn one turn twice and three there you go now if i turn this now you can see it now it's perfectly aligned straight straight now we are going to put it back in And you're gonna put it back in straight like this. Now, as you can see, we've got the marking on point. So now we can tighten that back up, put everything back together, and then see how the car fires up. Okay, so now we're gonna tighten the new bolt. As you can see, this is the old bolt, so we're not reusing this one. We've got a new bolt, so we can put that aside. Now we can put the distributor cap back on. Plug this back on, this, and place it my plug back in. Okay, just remember you want to hand tie it, not too much, so that's perfect. Thank you for the ignition lead back on. Make sure you get that click so it's nice and snug cap back on lovely and now we can put the air filter back on right now we can put this back on there you go Make sure we plug in the uh, sensor. The bolts on. One over here. And don't forget to put the vacuum pipe on. Correct, because we have had issues before. Perfect, and then the last one over here. Let's put this vacuum pipe. Mind the uh, twin master cylinders your acceleration. Now all we need to do is fire the beast up. Now to finish it off, as Abs was uh, hissing me on the previous episode about oh, this. Was yes you were. Now we have got the airbox filter and he's right look how complete it looks just by putting that on. Right so we're looking all right but I can still something I'm missing. There's a cover there's missing. We're gonna dress a cover on the next episode in the shorts. So for now we are gonna fire the car up and we can see how it sounds. Taking the car for a test drive and there's been a huge difference in thought response now it is way better it goes like super which is not a turbo so it is a bit so basically what was he trying to say is for an sluggish, MA, that's it, it's sluggish. sluggish before okay so let's explain what happened so before the car was not driven above four three and a half, three three and half, half four rich four so we would have full throttle the car and it would not go above that um so after doing the the uh timing and adjusting the but don't forget we changed the ignition leads the spark plugs park then like i said we did the timing Started it up, took it for a spin, perfect. All right, so just explain before what happens. So as we've done everything, like Z says, so we've done the spark leads, spark plugs, and then after we've done the timing and everything, it was still revving four and a half, and then I heard four, this. Three and a half, man. Three and a half, yeah, sorry, three and a half. So basically, it was it sound like a lit mode. So we thought maybe it's the ECU after that. Uh, so all we did, we started the car, let it warm up, we revved it, and then 
we let go of the revs for a little while, for I'll say about 20 seconds, and after that we just throttled again, and everything just came clear. It was like something, was a glass of I gunk or something. No, yeah. no, I think the ECU had to just reset itself. Maybe that's your right, actually. Because it was yeah. in limbo because of the timing. Now that we do the timing and we can give a bit of minor service, uh, the ECU just needed a bit of time to reset. You're so right. These, yeah, aren't the, these aren't the new technology where you put OBD to reset and everything goes back to normal or, you know, leave the battery disconnect. No, this is old school, so... Uh, when we revved it, let go, 20 seconds later, revved it again, it kind of reset the throttle position, and I think that's what happened. Yeah, I think you're right. I think the sensor's trying to catch up with DC, yes. and he's reset, and now this car for an N8, where it should be, and is, also, is exactly like that. On the man. previous episode, I was driving here, and I was like, you know what? We've done the power steering fluid, we bled it, it the power steering was still heavy. So I thought it might be because we've bypassed the vacuum, vacuum sensor, and it's gone here. However, I found out when we were trying to put this thing, like I've pointed out, there's a white wire which I've connected back to the power steering, and now the power steering is perfect. So this cable here, which was not connected, so when we saw it was loose, when we were doing this time, we took all the air box and the air filter out, we saw that loose wire, so we connected the back end and boom, it is sorted now. So this so is booyah. the end of this episode for the Super Supra, is now done officially, mechanically wise. Actually, no, wait. We still need to take the twin. Yeah, we need to take the tournament for you to get and cover I, for that. And I need to adjust that mask named up pedal because it's still sitting too high. So I think one more episode and that should be it for the Supra. We're done with it. Well, mechanically, yeah, but yes. then obviously we're still going to work on the interior. Um, yeah, one, what I'm saying, one more episode, interior and that side. Interior and the wheels, I think we just sort the wheels out as yeah, well. Yeah. So I think this is it, the end of today's episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And we'll see you in the next one. Stay safe. Take care, guys. You know you have the camera at an angle, right? Not straight. Perfect. Go on.